In the previous video we saw how to protect a worksheet. Now we're going to look at how we use that protected worksheet in a real life situation. First of all, here is that worksheet and I'm just going to make things a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Now if I try to change something here, the worksheet won't let me. It's protected. So how do I go about doing that? Well, what I do is I go to a new worksheet at the bottom here. I create a new one. And there I'm going to start in the cell A1 and press the equals sign. Equals is a way of telling Excel that what's coming is a formula. But in this case it's going to be a very simple formula. What I do is click on the protected worksheet and go to its cell A1. That's where I'm starting. You see at the top here, the legend has changed. It tells me I'm on the worksheet election 2010 in the cell A1. I've clicked on that, I just press enter, and that cell is now there. Now I happen to know that the columns go across to BE for this worksheet, so I'm going to take hold of the little square at the bottom and drag right across till I get to BE. Once there I can let go and I have all those headings. Now I also know that the data goes down to the row 4029 and that's quite a long way down. But by doing this I'm going to create a copy of the data, an exact copy, and then I'm in a position to manipulate things any way I like because it doesn't matter how much I uh, change the data now. Everything is going to be exactly the way it should be from the original data. Right, I'm nearly at the right place. 4,029. And all the data magically appears. Now I have all this data. I can do anything I want with it. But the neat trick is what happens if the original data changes. Your boss is going to be using this worksheet, not the original data, this one, to make any changes that your boss wants to make. But supposing the underlying data did have to change. Well you would, as we explained in the previous video, sneakily go back unprotect the sheet so Fred you can now edit the worksheet you can go back to wherever it is you want to go and instead of Hal Francis in fact it was let's say Fred I press enter reprotect the worksheet because we don't want our boss to get in there and start making changes and now if I go back to the sheet where the boss can make changes, you'll see that the data has changed to Fred. What you change on the original worksheet will automatically change on this one. So that if you do have to change something on your protected data, you can, but your boss can't. And all subsequent worksheets that you use will all be based on a copy of the original data and therefore they will all change automatically if you make a change of the original data. If you had just made an ordinary copy then you'd have to go through every worksheet and make sure every worksheet has that bit changed. A time-consuming process and one that's not particularly efficient. This is much more efficient and it ensures that everything is absolutely up to date all the time. So what we've seen is that you copy a worksheet by using an equal sign, going to the cell in which you want to start and pressing enter. You then copy that cell across and then copy it down and you've got all the data and you can manipulate it at will. 
In the next video, we're going to look at how to format this data sensibly.